Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as is reported by a Tamim al-Dari and collected by Muslim in his Sahih, this matter, this matter meaning this matter of Islam, this religion of Islam will reach wherever the night and the day reaches and Allah will not leave on this earth except Islam will enter every country, every city, every village, every home by hook or by crook. In another narration also in the Sunnah of Imam Ahmed, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, this matter will keep spreading as far as the night and the day reach until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not leave a house made of mud or hair except that Islam will enter into it while bringing honor to an honorable person and humiliation to a disgraced person. Honor with which Allah elevates Islam and disgrace with which Allah humiliates disbelief. There will come a time, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Islam will enter into every home, even a home of hair, even a home of mud, even meaning a tent. There will be a person in that home who is Muslim. This is what it means, my brothers and sisters. It doesn't just mean that people will come to hear about Islam. No, Allah will honor a person in that house, in that home. Allah will honor them with Islam. And if you are a person of Islam, you are honored in the sight of Allah. You may not wear fancy clothes. You may not wear designer labels. You may not have an expensive car. You may not live in a palatial home. No, my brothers and sisters, maybe you are very simple and maybe your life is very simple. And maybe those rich people and those powerful people will pass you by and they will not even glance at you. Because all they see is the outward aspects of the life of this world. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is looking to your hearts. He is looking to our hearts. That is what is important to Allah. And He sees what is inside you. He sees what those people cannot see. And the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you and made you Muslim, it means that He has honored you he subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored you with Islam. That is because he loves you. And that is the message, brothers and sisters, we need to convey to the human beings. This is the message we need to convey. And convey it we must. It is our duty, our obligation to pass this message of Islam on. That Allah alone is worthy of worship. That Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. That the day of judgment is true. That the paradise is true. That the hellfire is true. And that the way to paradise is by surrendering ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is our duty. This is our obligation. That we, we need to pass this message on my brothers and sisters. And if we don't do it, who is going to do it? If we do not call the people to Islam, if we do not invite the people to Islam, how will the message reach them? It will happen, brothers and sisters. It will happen. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Islam will enter every home. It's going to happen. There is no doubt about it. With you or without you, with me or without me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will cause Islam to enter every home and for a Muslim to be in every single home. And Allah will honor a person in every house, even a tent of hair, even these 
buildings here, if they still exist, that, that you see, maybe some of you live in them. Every one, brother and sister, there is going to be a Muslim inside. Whether it's a palace or whether it's a tent, it's going to happen. Because the Prophet wasallam never lied. What he received was knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But here is the question. Do you want to be part of that or not? The opportunity is there. The promise is there. The Prophet wasallam said that it is going to happen. And the reward for it is there for our taking. The fruit is on the tree. It's ready for our plucking. So think about what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said.